Now we all know that money doesn't grow on trees and if you've just invested a small fortune on a new camera you're probably not going to have that much cash spare to start investing in your new equipment too. So that's why today I'm going to show you how for £500 you can get a great range of equipment that will really enhance your video productions. Yes, you heard me correctly. For £500, I'm going to get you the best kit I can find. I'm going to provide you with a camera jib, an awesome light, a smooth camera slider, a quality microphone, and the best low-cost Steadicam type stabiliser the world has ever seen. So the first thing I'm going to add to the kit bag is a camera slider. Now camera sliders have become a staple part of the kit bag in recent years and they have done because they just allow you to get that beautiful bit of smooth movement. It's that sort of short tracking shot that really brings the picture to life. Yet at the same time they're small and they're compact, they're, they're easy to set up. It's not a big cumbersome sort of traditional system where you have to lay down lots of track and then push a dolly along. These are really quick and easy to use. So I feel that investing in a very good quality system is a very good place to start. So I've chosen the Haig Cam Slide Easy Glide system. And I've gone with this slider because basically it gives you everything you need. It's a very good quality slider and it gives you a nice smooth motion and it drops in at a great price. Yes, I could have found as a cheaper slider. There's absolutely loads of sliders on the market today and lots of cheap nasty ones which half the time don't work correctly. But that's not what I'm here to do. What I'm trying to do today is to provide you with a £500 budget and give you an idea of what quality systems you could purchase within that budget to actually maximise the performance and the quality of your productions. So why this slider? Well to start with, the thing I really like about it is the actual length of the slider. It's 640 centimetres long and that's more than adequate for what I require. Yet it keeps it nice and small and compact and lightweight for travelling with. Now I tend to find that a lot of people get a little bit carried away with sliders where they want metre length systems when if you actually think how long that shot is realistically going to be on screen for you don't even need something as long as 640 centimeters for most shots i mean don't get me wrong there are instances where a meter system would be beneficial and certainly if you're doing some time lapse work then a longer system may be a better option but for standard tracking shots as in a little bit of a slider shot 640 centimetres is more than adequate. Now the Hague Cam Slide Easy Glide rails, they have this wider profile to them, both on the rail and the actual carriage as well. And this really seems to help ensure you get a nice smooth movement. With all camera sliders, they have to have a certain amount of free movement in order to allow that sliding motion. But at the same time, if they get too much, you can start getting some play in there. And as a result, with a larger camera setup, or one that's more difficult to get balanced, you may find that you start getting some wobble as you're moving it across the rail. And that has really been um, prevented with this system by this wider profile rail and carriage. The other thing I really like about this system is that it is compatible with the Hague power slider as well. So if you do find that you've got a little bit more dosh in the future, you can always add this system and turn it into a motorised setup at a later date. The next thing I'm going to add to my basket is the Rode VideoMic Go. Let's face it, the onboard microphone on the camera isn't the best of quality and adding an external microphone is going to greatly improve the sound recording quality. Now don't get me wrong, if I was working with a larger budget I would be looking at different microphones. But the Rode VideoMic Go is a very good quality microphone for the price bracket it sits in and it will still drastically improve the sound recording quality compared to that of the onboard camera mic. The VideoMic Go is a directional microphone and that means that the microphone itself focuses on this area here directly in front of it and it kind of nullifies the noise surrounding. Therefore it will kind of isolate your subject from background noise and this is very helpful in many filming situations. The VideoMic Go has no complicated switches or settings. 
It doesn't even have any internal batteries. It literally plugs directly into your camera and then it draws its power through the external microphone input. Now let's add the most expensive item to our kit and that's the camera jib. Now I really like camera jibs primarily because of those wonderful crane shots that you can create and the range of movement that allows you to really add production value to the work you do. Now I've decided to go with the Haig Junior jib primarily because it's a perfect starting system and also it won't blow your budget. I think the Junior jib's always been a very popular product for a few different reasons. Partly because of how easy it is to actually operate and I suppose partly because of the price bracket it drops into. It's a very affordable system. It also incorporates the pulley type system so that you can actually control the camera on the end of the jib and that allows you to tilt the camera up and down which is a very crucial feature to have and it's an aspect that's missing from many other low cost solutions. So I suppose it's about time we shone some light on this kit. Now I've decided to go with the Roto Light, and this is the Roto Light Stealth. Now the reason I've gone with this particular light is because it is a decent quality light. It's also made by a very well known and reliable brand and it drops within the budget I have available. The Roto Light is powered by just three AA batteries and it's a very nice compact system and it feels very well made. It's an ideal solution if you just want to light up your subject slightly or perhaps when you're using it for an interview. It can be used both outside or in studio setups and it becomes a very useful piece of kit. Rotolite also include with it seven different filters. So that leaves me with just £25. But luckily, I've left the best till last. Now I've already provided you with solutions that will allow you to get nice smooth slider shots or wider ranging movements with your camera jib. But what we really need now is a device that will allow us to move around, to, to be on our feet getting in between people and actually still creating a nice smooth shot. And for this there's only really one product, the camera stabiliser. Now when Haig first developed the Mini Motion Cam Stabilizer, it was one of those industry changing moments. I mean, it really was one of those groundbreaking products that just meant things would never be quite the same again. At the time, there were several options available for Steadicam type rigs, but they were all designed for the larger, more professional camera setups. There wasn't really anything for small consumer cameras. And these rigs, they used to cost thousands of pounds. So when the Mini Motion Cam was designed, it really filled a gap in the market and put camera stabilisation into everyone's hands. The idea of a camera stabiliser is that it will take that bounce and that jerkiness out of your shot so that you can achieve nice smooth movement. So as you're moving around, it feels like the camera is literally just floating in mid-air. Now without doubt, a stabiliser, especially a small handheld system like this one, it's pretty much a must in my opinion for any budding filmmaker. They're just one of those products that really should get used to using. For a start, they're fun to use. They capture amazing footage and they're now affordable as well. In fact, forget the rest of this feature. Forget the £500 budget and forget the other equipment I've mentioned so far. If you only have £25 in your bank account, Use that £25 and buy yourself a mini motion cam and then just go out and start filming and you'll be a standard to see the quality of footage that you can achieve. So that's it, £500 invested in great quality equipment which is actually going to enhance your video capabilities. I've included below links to all of the products I've discussed today and if you don't already subscribe to our channel please make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave. And most importantly, above anything else, please make sure that you invest in decent quality video equipment and don't just throw your money away.